Hey everyone, in this video we're going to answer a question by one of the Fat Loss Blueprint Facebook members. And this question is asking how to navigate social events with friends and family. So in essence, this individual spends time with friends and family, will go over to their house where they offer, you know, food like commonly happens in social events, things like cakes, pastries, whatever. And she has a very hard time saying no despite her being on a fat loss journey currently, she justifies it in her head by saying, you know, it's only every once in a while, just relax, don't stress about it. But then she realizes, you know, it makes her blood sugar unstable. She'll have mood swings, trouble sleeping, uh, and it put her off the tracks for her fat loss journey. So what do you do? So the first thing that I would do, and the first thing that I did when I changed my diet back then, is I had hard lines. Uh, you need to have rules for yourself. Um, there is no willpower involved when you have rules. Uh, you don't see someone that like, I'm gonna take an extreme right here, that quit drinking. They're not like, I have to use willpower every time I'm around someone that's drinking. Usually they just don't even think about it after a few years. Um, that's the same with food too. You just don't eat pastries anymore. You need to tell yourself that. You don't eat cake. You don't need willpower. You just don't eat those. I think the biggest issue here, though, when I was reading your question is you said that you don't have the willpower to. That is a mindset right there. And you need to change your mindset from not having willpower to choosing not to ingest those foods. Yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, willpower is a transient um, necessity to developing habits, because when you develop a habit, it's, it's not yet a habit. It's not something you do on autopilot. So you need to actually use willpower in the beginning to get that habit going in motion. But then over time, you no longer need willpower at all. That's the entire reason habits developed. It was to reduce the amount of thought and effort that we put towards doing repetitive actions in our life. And, and what I meant by the having a hard line is in the beginning is you don't need as much willpower. Yeah. Because you don't need it's any, a hard really. Off. Uh, you just do not do that thing. Yeah. And that takes away the willpower. To, willpower happens when you have two conflicting thoughts in your head. I want it, but I don't. I'm not going to let myself, but I want it. But I, no, you don't want it. That's where you need to fix your mindset. Yeah. She agreed. needs to come to the conclusion that she just does not want that food. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's also just as another example so that you can clearly illustrate um the power of turning this into a habit and a hard line is to use items that you think are absolutely disgusting that you'd never eat in your life like dog poop um seriously <laughs> like every time you walk by it do you ever have a thought in your head where you're like oh, maybe just a piece no it just <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't happen because it's because you it's have disgusting. you have a hard line like you're you're not going to do that it's a hard line. It's such a hard line that you think it's even ridiculous to consider it. And you can do that same thing with foods. And right? so, so the whole lifestyle thing too, um, you have to decide these things for yourself. What foods don't make your blood sugar crash? Cause I think that was an issue for sleep, extra calories. Like what foods can you work in there that don't do those things that will make you still seem like you're having fun? Um, Dark chocolate, does that do that? A glass of red wine when you're out socializing, does that do that? Um, you just need to find what foods you're not gonna put a hard stop to, but pastries and cake, put a hard stop to those. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's no reason to, like, look, I, I get that every once in a while, it's fine to go off your diet, but if it's having a ripple effect where then it's affecting your mood, it's affecting your ability to sleep, and it's affecting your motivation for you know your fat loss journey then it's time to put a hard line on it because that's just too many negative consequences of indulging in it yeah there's not if you were someone enough who, benefit to yeah. pay that cost oh uh, let's let's now to complete this thought though if you're someone who can have that piece of cake and then just get right back on the tracks without any fallout then maybe it is worth it to do it because maybe it does reduce your stress yep you know, and it lets you relax. And if that's the case, then that would be a net benefit. Exactly. And it doesn't seem like from the question, it does not seem like you're that type of person. I'm not either. So I can relate. 
Um, I just have to have hard lines for myself. Yeah. Oh. And I had mm -hmm. to accept that I cannot please everyone all of the time. Yep. Yeah. You can't, you can't be a people pleaser. You need to look out for yourself first and so you hope can that, contribute positively to the world. Yeah. Your friends and family should be understanding, especially if this is something you've been working towards for a while, right? If your goal was to like quit smoking, your friends and family probably wouldn't be like, oh yeah, just have one more cigarette. I mean, there are people out there who do that, but those are the people mm -hmm. you kind of want to avoid when you're trying to establish a Healthy. new lifestyle, yeah. right? Um, so yeah, uh, and there's another example of probably one that's more realistic than the dog poop example to mm -hmm. solidify that point. How about actual food, but it's rotting? Like it was food you would have once ate totally, but now it's rotting. Do you eat, still consider eating it? Do you go, well, uh, I mean, there's only two worms in it. Um, no, you throw it away. And But it, it, it was food, so I think it's a little more realistic of an example than the dog poop one. <laughs> but the point is, you're still not going to do it. You have that hard line. It can be the same with cakes and pastries. You can just be like, is it a cake and pastry? No, nah, I'm good. Let me see if I can find something else that can take its place. And if not, just be content with the fact that you're not going to have anything. That's fine. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. So uh, if you want to find out more about the fat loss blueprint, you can check it out at alexleaf.com forward slash fat loss blueprint. And we hope that you enjoyed the information in this video. And if you know someone who you think this information would help out, share a video with them. Thanks everyone. Bye.